Hey guys, Clone Guy here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It is actually going to be a tank review, which isn't so different, but we're going to be reviewing something in the store that wasn't given to us by Wargaming. This is on my own accord because Wargaming doesn't give me stuff anymore. But this package, Anniversary Unstoppable, 13,000 gold, over $50. What do you get out of it, and is it worth it? Well, I'm reviewing it because I believe it is worth it. I believe it is one of the best deals you can get in this game, like, ever. You get the Patriot, the Defender, and the Nomad. Let me just show you. 70% off. These are probably three of the best Tier 8 heavy tanks in the game. No, not just premium tanks. I mean heavy tanks in general. They are really, really good. You have the Patriot, the all-rounder. Good, good armor. Decent armor, should I say. Good turret. Gun depression, decent gun handling, decent gun. It's just the all-rounder, kind of like a medium. It's like a better Pershing. Then you have the Defender, which is, you know, tier 10 at, at tier 8. It's kind of like a tier 8.5, maybe even a tier 9 tank, pretty much, is what this vehicle feels like. And then you have the Nomad, which is um, kind of a better 5100, depending how you look at it. It has better gun handling, better gun depression, uh, better interclip reload, but it's got a longer... It's about almost the same base reload, but for 5 shots instead of 6. So we'll be taking a look at each and every one of these one day at a time. Today is day one. We'll look at the Patriot. And just like all my other reviews, we'll look at it in the garage. Then we'll watch some pre-recorded gameplay. And then we'll take it out live. One take, no matter what. Let's get to the garage. And uh, we will actually be looking at this through tanks.gg because the stats on PC are actually the same. As on console, I checked, double checked, made sure, and everything is exactly the same. So we're going to go take a quick gander at tanks.gg just so that we have a more accurate um, take on the vehicle. Welcome, welcome. We are on tanks.gg. You can find all sorts of stats on here, though. Don't trust all these stats because console has changed a lot of stats. However, the Patriot remains the same. You have 2,000 base DPM. This is right out of the box. 2,000 DPM. This is like with a 75% crew. And uh, that's everything. Everything here is with pretty much a 75% crew. Um, so 240 damage doesn't seem like the greatest, but you know what? When you have a 7.2 second reload time, it's pretty good. 230 base penetration on its standard rounds. And its standard rounds are, in fact, APCR. That is insane for a tier 8 heavy tank. Its premium go up to 259, which, though, aren't the greatest. And something you'll notice is that uh, you have APCR's premium and standard rounds. So that's pretty cool. Um... But anyway, we're not going to look at these stats, and I will tell you why. Because when you buy this tank, it comes with 100% crew. So if you have 100% crew, what are these stats now? There we go, that's more like it. 2,085 DPM. Your reload is now 9, 8, 6.9 seconds reload. Um, 2.2 2 .2 seconds any time. 0.36 accuracy. Decent on the move values. Not the greatest. Actually, these aren't that great, actually, at all. <laughs> on the move isn't the greatest. But you know what? It's fine. It's whatever. Um, caliber, it's a 90. Shell velocity is 1,021, which is decent. 70 shells. You can take a ton of shells. You can take as much of anything you want. Standard APCR, premium APCR, HE, take it all. Though, because this is 90mm, you only have 45mm of pen on the HE, so just keep that in mind. Your top speed is 40.2. Verse speed is 15, which is fine. Um, 704 horsepower engine, but this isn't the heaviest vehicle, so you have a, a 15.17 power to weight. And then once you get equipment on there, we're just going to check with equipment real quick just to see what the uh, your power to weight is after all this. I will show you what I have on, and uh, then we'll see exactly uh, what it is now. It's still over 15 right there. And you'll see with this kind of a loadout, um, you get your reload down to 6.1. And uh, actually, if you get Brothers in Arms on there as well, and I have Smooth Ride, I have Snapshot, and I have... I have both view range skills, which is what I recommend you get on all your vehicles. You get a nice 460 meters view range. Your aim time is still 0.36. Your DPM is 2,369 with a 6.08 seconds reload. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And then if you're one of those fancy people and you decide to throw on some good old-fashioned cola, wherever the heck that is, there it is, then your DPM is almost 2,500. 5.82 second reload time, almost a 2 second reload, 0.34 accuracy, and the accuracy is going to bite you a whole lot in this tank, that's what I found in it anyway, it it, it comes back to haunt you, um, you have 390 base view range, you don't see that here, because I have all this stuff on here, but uh, that is the case, and uh, train resistances are normal, 10 degrees of gun depression, 20 degrees of gun elevation, that's pretty good, um, gun traverse, that just means pointing up and down, turret traverse is... 
I I don't know what it is. It's like 26 or something. Uh, oh, yeah, it is just 26 because uh, these don't affect it in any way. But let's get to the 3D model real quick. That's probably what you want to see. Uh, what is it called? Live. So this is when you're looking at yourself. Your upper plate is about 210 effective. Lower plate is about uh, 177. Your turret in some places is really good. Look at... Wait a minute. What? 1,846? How many spaces of armor does this have to go through? My gosh. So if you're fighting this thing, don't shoot it in the melee. It has just armor, 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 armor. Is that some kind of bug? That's insane. But you can shoot outside right here. You can kind of pen. Underneath you can pen. Um, the cupola is, you can pan a bit, um, but then when this thing uses its 10 degrees of gun depression, um, like so, the upper plate becomes a lot harder to penetrate, 250 about, and then the turret kind of remains the same just because of the rounded shape, you know, he's just hitting the same locations, but you can't see the cupola so much. And can this tank side scrape, uh, 76 millimeters? Yeah, you can side scrape with this, you can go around corners like this, though if you go around a corner like that, they can still see the front of your hull, so it's not the greatest. And then if you over angles to the point where they don't see the front of your hull anymore, so like this, then they can start going through you. Though if they hit your tracks, it's going to get absorbed most of the time. So that's pretty nice. Something about American tracks, this would probably be the best angle so they don't see the front of your hull. But uh, your tracks are still pretty good at absorbing, um, that's for sure. But if they shoot up top here, they're going to go through. So just keep that in mind, and then they can penetrate and track you here. So that's something you want to keep in mind. And then how good is it against artillery? Uh, 22 millimeters of roof armor on the engine deck and on the turret, 25. So yeah, you're going to get overmatched. You can overmatch yourself with a 90 millimeter. So that's a pretty unfortunate there. Um, and artillery will feast upon this right here. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get into some live games. Actually, first, we're going to get to the pre-recorded game and then we'll get into the live game. I will see you there. The non-live game, we find ourselves on Swamp, we are the top tier, and we are platooned up with Catnip is Great in his uh, Ripper Patton, which plays very similarly to this tank, except the fact that it doesn't have as much armor, though the Ripper Patton has a little bit more mobility and much better gun handling. Um, yeah, that is something the Patton, the Pershing, sorry, and the Ripper Patton do phenomenally compared to this tank, is just the gun handling. And if you like gun handling more than armor, or more than a a gun with a ton of penetration, then you might rather have, you know, the Ripper Patton. I personally love gun handling, and so I really enjoy myself a Ripper Patton. So, we are on Swamp, and we are the assaulting team, and if you guys watched <laughs> me pretending to be, what's his name, Spartan Elite, and I sent him an E100 replay, and I commentated over the E100 replay, you know that I like going towards this uh, middle location even with an E100. And so that's what I'm doing here with my Patriot. I'm going to this middle location. And it makes it even more convenient because it is Assault. Therefore, um, the spawns are even more perfect for this. I don't have to worry about my side so much. I just go up and over and, you know, boom, da, very good. And that's what's going to happen here. Some auto-lock action there as we fight some of these lower tier vehicles. I'm on a really small screen. There we go, we're zoomed in. I can actually see that that is a T-69. But uh, people bouncing off of our turret. Turret is good, though we are in very favorable matchmaking. Um, I almost said preferable because I didn't say that last time I was on Swamp and I recorded a video on Swamp and I was supposed to say that at some point that it's not preferable or it is but so there it is um, there is no artillery and that is very preferable is that is that good is that good Do, are you, am I forgiven now I don't know maybe but we're just sitting here with our 10 degrees of gun depression and you see the rate of fire is not bad but you see see how big this circle is it doesn't get too small not at all uh, the T-34 has 0.35 accuracy, and this thing has 0.38. So, you just consider, you know, the T-34. Granted, the T-34 doesn't aim in as quickly. Um, actually, with the buffs they've given the T-34, that thing can snap shots pretty pretty well now. But, uh, yeah, you're just, you're watching this gun in action. It's, it's, um, it's hitting for us. But, uh, when we take it out live, I bet you, I bet you we won't be hitting as well. Because this is, this is one of my better games I have recorded, and so that's why I'm showing it to you. Can we pen that? Yeah, we're gonna go for his tracks, maybe. Come on, do something. Yeah, we go for his tracks. Hey, it went straight. That's not too shabby whatsoever. I'm not too shabby at all. I will, I will take that. I will take that indeed. And, nope, nothing there. Yeah, we're not gonna go through that. I was just, you know, just gonna keep him tracked, and maybe, maybe we'll go through. No, no shots on him. So, we're not doing much right now, and our team is looting, loot, looting, looting, they're actually losing, the enemy team seems to be looting, we're losing by quite a bit. Our uh, turret holds up against the uh, Yak Panther 2, but that's probably because of the mantlet. Uh, I don't know how true the mantlet being as strong as it is, actually, if that is true, but uh, 
What tanks that GG said? I might take a Jagdpanzer E100 and try shooting with... Or maybe an E4, that might be better, because then I'll have heat. and Or APCR, and I can shoot into uh, the mantle with APCR. And see if we can go through. That is an easy tank to penetrate. Though the first shell we fired went straight into his mantlet because we didn't bother aiming. But that is okay. Come on. Oh, nice. There's a snap. So, yeah, this game is kind of not showing so much the trolley gun handling I feel this, this tank has. It feels like a tank that would be able to just hit shots. But it doesn't. And that is that is sometimes... That is, that is the issue for me anyway. Of course, though, it is no Russian tank, so, you know, it does hit sometimes. Let's see, like that, that one hit. A Russian might not be able to hit that. I, it's decent, but it's no Carnarvon, you know. And I feel, I should have mentioned that, this tank um, plays very similarly to the Carnarvon. That's kind of its closest, closest competitor is the Carnarvon. But the Carnarvon would not miss these shots at all. It was just a hit, 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 hit. The Carnarvon is amazing, and you hit on the move, and they see there's another miss. You hit standing still, you just hit things, man. And you have 280 Alpha now, and if you go with the smaller gun, you know, you... You can go with the smaller gun if you want, 230 alpha, but then you're even more accurate. Um, so it's it's like, it's it's. I, I like the Carnarvon. Is this gonna hit? Yeah, that's gonna hit. It tried not to hit. It tried very hard not to hit. That's for sure. Are we gonna hit again? Oh, critical hit. Not too shabby. I'll take it. I mean, I feel happy that I hit him. I do, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't quite quite the damage we were looking for. We were looking for damage, not just a critical hit. Maybe we tracked it. Maybe we should have tried shooting there again, but we don't. Now bounce off the superstructure of the Ag Panther 2. That's a very strong superstructure. I love the Ag Panther 2. That was a fantastic tank. Um, that whole line was really good though. Yag Panther was good. The Flat Panzer was good. The Yag Tiger was awesome. Of course, then there's Yag Panzer E100. Um, we miss. What is that? A Stura Mill? Small screen. I can't tell. It might be a dicker match, but I think it's a Stura Mill. We miss him because, you know, he's he's a hundred meters in front of me. Why would I be able to hit? And so there's the trolley gun, as I was saying. This gun trolls me. Maybe not for you guys. I remember Quickie Baby. I've seen some of his takes on this tank, and he says the gun is amazing. And the gun trolls me. It trolls the heck out of me. But uh, I, I just must, I, I just must not be sacrificing enough to capitalism. I must not have the right player. You know who I need in here? I think I need Edelman. No more Tom Brady. I need Edelman in this tank. I think that would make it better. Yeah, throw Edelman in here. I think we'll be good. That, that's the issue. Maybe some Gronk. But who knows. Oh, tank's on our side. Patriot. Another Patriot. Uh, okay. Let, let's just pull away from that guy. I, I don't want to fight a Patriot right now. He will kill me because I have less health than him. So instead, I'm going to roll up towards their base and fight them from the high ground. That is my new my new decision. Oh, you know we mentioned earlier that our team was getting crushed? Well, uh, we, we're no longer getting crushed. I think they've, they've killed just like two tanks and we've killed like ten. We've killed ten. And they've killed two, so no more getting crushed now. <laughs> what are we fighting right now? Oh, a little tiny tank. That guy has actually really good DPM and really good pen, so he might be able to shred us. So hopefully we can get up close. And uh, yep, there's another penetration. Unfortunately, he goes through our side actually, angled. So maybe you shouldn't be side scraping this, but we get a nice juicy fire. Oh, it's not enough. And he pens us yet again. And uh, he should get finished off. Yes, he does. He goes down. Are we going to be able to shoot this guy down there now? Hello, Patriot. We're looking down at your upper hull. That will be no problem. Straight through the upper hull. A little bit of damage. Uh, can't up kill someone else. And now it's just this Patriot. Put another shell in. It looks like we tracked him, but we can't quite see him. So we're going to pull up to hopefully spot him. There he is. Hello there. He pens us, but no problem. We finish him off. And down goes the enemy Patriot. Not too shabby a game. Not too shabby at all. Um, it's actually very good. Very good game. Nothing, nothing, nothing to it. Nothing to it all. How much money did we make? 165,000 credits. We had a uh, premium account going, of course. So 103,000 without premium. We get a steel wall. 5,100 damage done. No problem whatsoever. Since now we're talking about credits, I may as well mention this tech makes 57% extra credits, which is fantastic. IS-6 makes 50%, and actually so does the Defender. So just keep that in perspective if you have one of those, and so do most of the medium tanks. This tank makes 57, which is actually the same as a Type 59. That moment when you have a pretty decent game in your Patriot, and it's supposed to be a one-take wonder, but for some reason your audio is buzzing every time you talk, and it sounds awful because them, there's some kind of static buildup in the wires, so you have to unplug and replug. And so now my one take is now going to be two takes, even though I promised one take. And I make 126,666 credits. And we did pretty decent. We won the game, but you know what? It's okay. That is okay. We will just go again.
Let's just go again. We'll just do it again. <laughs> we'll call this the first take. Besides, we were top tier that game anyway. So let's see if we can find one where we're not top tier anyway. And you know what? We're in a game immediately. Look at this. Redshire 1944. And hey, we're not top tier. This is actually pretty good. And hopefully my mic isn't buzzing. I unplugged and replugged it. So it should be good now. Uh, but here we go. We're going to try again. We're going to try again. Actually, let's shoot an ISU. Yeah, the accuracy on this tank is awful. Have I have I mentioned that before? I don't know. I don't know if I did. Just kidding. Yes, I did. The accuracy is awful. I, I don't understand why it is so bad. You have such a small gun. Like, the Tiger One's gun performs much better than this. You get the Tiger One, the Tiger One's gun seems to stay more accurate. It aims in faster. It's got a better base accuracy. It reloads faster. It's, it's just a better gun. Other than that, you cannot complain about this tank. It's a great tank. It really is. And, see, sometimes your armor, you wish you were in, like, a, your turret fails, and you wish you were in a C-32. That happens a lot. But, uh, yeah, this is this is not going to work. At range, this tank is... This tank is bad. It's bad. Okay, let's just leave it at that. It's bad. <laughs> at range, it, it sucks. Ugh. But, then you have 10 degrees of gun depression, and an ISU staring at your face. Come on, gun! There we go, gun. That's more like it, my son. That's more like it. Come on, gun. Yes, gun. Yes. GG. GG. That's more like it. Like, what is that? The back of his tank? Because it is not the ultimate sniper tank. Not in the slightest. Listen, I don't want to bounce off of you for a ninth time, dude. Uh, 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 you can't, I forgot, I forgot, you're not allowed to hit Russian tanks and your capitalist tanks. No, 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 capitalism must die. I always forget this. That's how World of Tanks works, right? Oh, that's a 705, I can't hit him either then. Light tank in my light tank? Nah, dude. Nah, dude. That almost missed, that went so low, even though I was aiming at center mass. That's unfortunate. It tried, it tried so hard to miss, it did. Let's just leave it at that. Ugh, gosh darn my face. Oh, we almost hit him. We almost hit him. Oh, Scourge, I'm, I lose. I can't, I can't hit him. See? <laughs> I can't hit him. It's not, it's not allowed. No fun allowed. No, my gosh, no. My face. Hello, Scourge. Hi, hi. I'm gonna put a broadside and not even try to block your shell because I don't need to. I have hero... I have, what is it, plot shield? I have plot armor. Oh, nice, nice one of, nice to know one of us has something going for him. Because I sure as heck don't. Why? <laughs> Hello, Scourge. Scourge, listen, buddy. Buddy old pal. I hate your guts, and I wish you were never born. I'm doing another game. I'm doing another game. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this game. I can't do it. I can't even. I can't even. I can't even. This game This game was stupid. I hate that guts. I hate this game, and I hate this tank. Let's jump into another game. Foof! Ah, oh, man. Like, so much for one take, indeed. Like, I want to give you something, because I like this tank. It's a good tank. I'm like the brick, alright? I was willing to play that brick once, and I died immediately, but that was okay, because it represented the tank very well. Um, but this is a good tank, I swear to you. I swear on... 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 I don't know what I swear on, but I do. So... Alright. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Tier 9. Again. Here we go. Tier 9 again. Tier 9. Again. We got this. We can do this. Alright, we just gotta... We just gotta... Wait. Nope. I thought it was someone else. Oh, Tubular Stew is who I'm thinking of. Who is actually in uh, um, a replay, which I will be posting on Sunday from four years ago featuring the Death Star. So make sure you go check that out on Sunday. Coming out soon. Four, four days? Four days away? Wait, there is it. So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Three days away. Four years ago. That is the case. That is uh, the case. We're going to go this way. Um, I've already started to go this way. I hate going to the town on this map because it, it, it serves no... Tactical advantage. None. Zero. Nada. Zippity, skippity, hippity. Because. Because it doesn't. You go to the town. And then you're stuck. And I figured out why my mic has kind of been buzzing. I've had it so close in front of my face. And it does not need to be. 
that close in front of my face. And every time I talk, the bar went up into the red, which is over modulation. So, we're good now, we're good now. I had nothing to do with the mic, it had to do with my stupidity and sheer idiocy. Because I am a mook. And, uh, but we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I figured it out. It's a new mic, what can I say? It's a new mic. It's a very sensitive mic. For, you know, uh, dang it, he spotted me. Dude, that's a Skoda, don't even, don't even. Don't even. That's a Skoda, dude. He's got he's got plot armor. Plot armor. More plot armor. Everyone has plot armor but me. Can I get some of this plot armor? How do I get? How do I get obtain this armor? Please teach me. Teach me. How do I obtain? How do I get this? I am clearly the antagonist. I need to be the protagonist. And this is this is my issue. Is I suck at life. Yeah, no. One. Wait a minute. What the fudge? Oh, you see what he hit? He hit the part that bends out. That is so stupid and lucky. That will never happen again for him. Oh, he's rushing. He's rushing, guys. This might be it for me. Yeah, you're reloading now, punk. This is not going so well. Let's track him. He's shooting APCR, ladies and gentlemen. He's shooting the premium rounds because he's an OP defender. He needs them. There we go. There we go. We're doing it. We suck at aiming, but we're doing it. He's just as bad at aiming. Don't worry, guys. 300 roll. We got a tank coming in from behind. Thank you, he killed him. We're good. We're good. We're good. Alright. Wow. Oh man, I'm a terrible driver. Oh man. Oh man. Oh no. No, my carry health just disappeared. I no longer have the health to carry. Oh shoot me in the face, man. Oh, kill me. Kill me dead. Ripping pepperonis. Rip me. I needed that health to kill this guy. But don't worry, I have two tanks behind me who are supporting me from afar. Oh, hello! Hello, hello, side of Skoda. Hello, your armor is too good. Hello, I meant. Are you kidding me?! WHY DO YOU EXIST?! WHAT IS THIS?! Okay, no. No, 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 no. Guess what? Guess what I do to artillery when they when they do nothing but shoot at me the entire bloody game? I hate artillery because they message you after, so... No, I'm not recording him, I'm just kidding. But I will block him. Because I do not want to get a message from this clown being like, Oh, outplayed, or hey, I like your content. Yeah, if you like my content, then don't shoot me. It's that simple. And like, now he's gonna die because he just fired. But uh, don't worry though, he killed me. He killed me, guys. But you know what? We're gonna end it. There's there's my two live games for you guys. All right, is this a good tank? It is a good tank. Trust me, it is. But it takes a good player, even if you're in a good tank, to get good results. The tank is not just gonna give you automatic good results as you've seen so far, as I play it. Um, but but it's a good tank. It's like a Carnarvon, like I said. It plays very much like a Carnarvon, but just with a worse gun. We've got a, a worse gun than a Carnarvon, a worse turret than the Carnarvon, a worse hull than the Carnarvon. Eh. Actually, very similar hulls. Uh, but now that the turret of the Carnarvon has been buffed, I would have to say the Carnarvon's probably a better all-round tank. Um, but, you know, it's it's the Patriot's still a fantastic tank, especially for, you know, making money. Like you, like I said, it makes a lot of credits. Um, and your your top armor is insanely weak. Dude, we got smashed by this kid. I, I own that tank. He splashed me for over 800 the first shot. And then that, like, that, not 800, over 600, which is insane. That tank usually splashes for about 400. So, so there's that. Um, is this game going to end? There we go, it ended. But like I said, I just I just want to get you guys two games. One game specifically, but you know, you're getting two, congratulations. And plus the one that wasn't live, so you technically you're getting three games. You're welcome. Um, but it's a good tank. I promise you it's a good tank. It's a good tank.
It's a good tank. You'll like it. You'll like it. Ask anybody in the comment section. All right. A lot of people have this. Just go ask. Like, is it actually a good tank? Because he just got crushed twice. And I saw his stream and he got crushed there too. Well, that's because that's clone guy. Clone guy sucks. Keep it at that. Keep it at that. But where is this bloody artillery? Hello, I'm artillery. <laughs> I only damaged two people. I shot the, uh, I shot this guy. Where is he? I shot this guy once. <laughs> and for nothing. And then I shot you twice for 1200 damage. So congratulations. <laughs> I hope you like World of Tanks. I do like World of Tanks. But anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned, because tomorrow we'll be doing the Defender. And the Defender, ooh, it's got armor. And so tomorrow we go from having, well, pretty much the jack of all trades, minus sniping, to being the frontline bully who you cannot kill even if you're tier 10, because, well, duh. Good Russian, no problem with armor. And so that'll be fun. And uh, I will see you guys later. Take care. And peace out.